Some things can never be replaced. Welcome to Top X, the show where we look at the good, the bad, and the ugly of YouTube. Today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 YouTubers who got robbed. I don't even remember screaming. I just remember like waking up and there's these two huge guys in my apartment. Before we begin, we publish new content every day. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at well-known YouTubers who were robbed on or off camera or who had their houses broken into by would-be burglars. Our ranking is based on both the YouTuber's fame and how dramatic the theft was. Number 10. BF vs GF During a regular night out vlogging with a friend of hers, prank YouTuber Gina Smith announced that she and friend Kelly had both been scammed by the same guy at earlier points in their lives. Did you give him money? I, I like, I, he asked me for like $23 That's exactly the like, same amount he asked like a me lot for! Of money. They were both approached on the street by a man crying his eyes out, saying his wife and child had been in a terrible car accident and that he needed money. $23 to be precise. Gina says she felt so bad for him that she walked to the ATM and gave him the money. Upon realizing it wasn't legit, she rented a bike and spent the rest of the day searching for him. He lied and told me that he worked at an Irish pub. Number 9. Fun for Louie Traveling the world comes with its fair share of risks, but ironically popular travel vlogger Louis Cole was back home in England when he was robbed. Yeah, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Fuck. During a vlog, a panicking Louis confides to the camera that his bag has gone missing, containing his laptop, DSLR camera, and passport. After spending the whole night searching for it and reporting it to the police, he still couldn't find it. While he managed to track the laptop to Bethnal Green, the police were unable to return Louis' stuff to him, and he had to apply for a new Rush passport. Number 8. Creeps McPasta While he was away at the Insomnia Gaming Festival, streamer Creeps McPasta's house was broken into and completely raided. The burglars took their time and stripped the house bare, taking anything even slightly valuable. Everything I've ever done on all my channels, all the things I was planning, all my writing. This included all of his gaming equipment and computers, as well as a laptop and PlayStation 4 belonging to his friend. It left him unable to create more content, something especially hard for a YouTuber so reliant on his equipment, and after already having his income halved by YouTube's demonetization. Luckily, a GoFundMe set up by a friend raised £30,000 from loyal fans to help him get back on track. Number 7. Lance Stewart Vine star and social media influencer Lance Stewart and his friend Aiden were having fun playing with a hoverboard in a parking lot when somebody walked up and stole Aiden's bag from right under their noses. Dude, Aiden's running after some dude that just f***ing stole his bag. Oh. He didn't see which way he went, did he? No, I don't know where he went. They didn't realize until later on that his stuff was even gone. The bag contained his wallet, ID, and his US visa, putting him at risk. Despite Aiden's best efforts to chase down the guy, they're not able to catch him and get Aiden's stuff. Remarkably, they did manage to catch the theft on camera, showing the man who took the bag and which way he walked off. Right there, walking away with Aiden's bag. Number 6. So Close to Toast This popular YouTube beatboxer returned home after time away to find that thieves had thrown a brick through his bedroom window and raided his apartment. But they broke into my safe and took every everything in my safe. He hadn't lived there long, but he was heartbroken that his home had been destroyed so quickly. And to make matters worse, he didn't have insurance to cover the damage. I feel like I got my ass kicked. The thieves took his Xbox, his screens, and everything in his safe. He ends his vlog by encouraging his fans to get insurance, look after themselves, and not to assume that a burglary can't happen to them. So I want to end this video on a high note. It's been a rough day but other people have it rougher, just remember that. Number 5. Ali A On a trip to London to attend a birthday party, gamer Ali A, most popular for his Call of Duty videos, made the mistake of forgetting to lock his car. So go out and leave, stupidly, like I think at this point I didn't lock my car, so like obviously I'm an idiot, right? It's my own fault, really. He suspected somebody watched him pull into the parking lot and saw that he forgot to lock it, and that they then entered through the front of the car to get at the valuables in the back. 
After returning to the car, Ali realized his bags were missing from the trunk, which included his high-end camera full of irreplaceable vlog footage. But the vlog footage was awesome, and I love it when I have good vlog footage because editing vlogs is so much fun. Um, but someone just took it, man. He admits it was partly his own fault for forgetting to lock the car, but getting robbed still sucks. Number 4. Philip DeFranco A video made by news vlogger DeFranco's wife Lindsay on their family channel tells this story in full. She explains that while Phil was away on a trip to Austin, their house was broken into in the night. I open the door, I see that the lights that I turned off are on, and I see where the person has broken in. Luckily, they had a burglar alarm installed, and she was able to get on the phone to 911 almost immediately, hiding upstairs with a gun, taser, and son. And then the cops come in and they're doing their search. The police response was fast and efficient. About eight cops and a helicopter were sent to the house, and the would-be robbers fled. The situation was clearly still very traumatic for the family, though. Number 3. White Boy 7th Street Getting robbed is bad enough, but for gaming YouTuber Alex, also known as White Boy 7th Street, that wasn't the worst of it. In his vlog after his house was robbed, he thanked fans for their support, but the emotional toll soon got him as he showed the damage that had been done to his place at the same time. I miss my mom, I miss my dad. They both passed away when I was like 18 and, and 20. So this is all I got really left of them. And then they, this, this is the worst thing. Like they, I had it all nice and... The robbers also trashed his house, breaking more things than they stole. He came back to a huge mess, including finding a memorial he built to his late mother vandalized. The thieves gained access by pushing his air conditioner through a window and breaking it. At least his cat was safe and sound after the ordeal. Number 2. Mars Bar These thieves had guts to break into gaming streamer and lifestyle vlogger Mars Bar's house in the middle of the day. Even crazier, he was partway through recording a new video when it happened. Three knocks on the door, three quiet knocks on the door. He tells the camera he heard three faint knocks on his bedroom door. When he answered it, there was nobody there, and he heard somebody shout, Go, 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 as the thieves fled. After a quick walk through the house, he sees the spare house keys and car keys are missing, and he records his conversation with the police dispatcher. As soon as I walked downstairs, I heard them shouting. I heard them shout, go, 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 because they heard me coming downstairs. After getting the locks changed, nothing more is stolen, but we're giving this a high place on our list for the sheer nerve of the burglars. Number 1. Jeffree Star In March 2019, beauty vlogger and makeup guru Jeffree Star went quiet on social media for a while eventually revealing that it was due to an enormous robbery of his new Blue Blood Cosmetics line. At around 1 a.m., one of my stock and shipping facility warehouses was broken into and over $2.5 million of product was stolen from me. Roughly $2.5 million worth of brand new cosmetics were stolen from a warehouse, which he suspects is part of a large makeup black market. These people were professional. I fully believe it was an inside job. Corroborating these claims, various stolen items started showing up on social media, and Starr has hired private detectives as well as getting the FBI involved to try to catch the culprits. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.